Who knows people like their butcher does? Who knows how to make them laugh and lend them an understanding ear? You might even say his job is less cutting meat and more about knowing people. In a time when America was recovering from economic disaster, young Jimmy Smith, a butcher's son, was caught in a struggle familiar to many young people. My mother really wanted me to go to college, and uh, I really didn't like school that much. It wasn't my favorite thing, you know, I liked to play basketball, and play sports, and, and school was kind of boring for me. So my dad told me, he said, Jimmy, he said, come down to the butcher shop, let me teach you how to be a butcher. He said, you'll have a job your whole life, he said. I worked during the last depression, when college graduates were getting laid off. I was working. Everything he ever did, even the things that one might not want to do, he always did it and had a lot of fun doing it. I got to work side by side with him. Uh, he was exactly he is today, passed in. Uh, everything had to be done perfectly, uh, a hard worker, and uh, just right on top of everything. Jimmy was diligent and persevered in spite of the challenge of a meager income. But it was retirement that would be the beginning of a new life for Jimmy the Butcher. I love my life. I, was, I never made a lot of money, but I was the happiest butcher on the block. You know, I just, I was happy. My kids, one of my daughters told me just a couple of years ago, she said, Daddy, I thought we were rich when we were grown up. Let's say I made $400,000. In 40 years, I made $400,000. And uh, that's an average of $10,000 a year. And, uh, I would have to work 200 years as a butcher to make what I made these two nice pennies. But this was only the beginning of this butcher's journey. Though times may evolve and technology may depreciate the need for person-to-person -person service, Jimmy found an industry where his people skills were far from obsolete. When he stumbled into network marketing, I mean, he took it and he just ran with it. And I'm glad he did because he made such a difference in all of our lives. Well, I think when Jimmy was forced into retirement, he actually understood at the age of 76 years old that he couldn't do the job anymore because his back was such a bad shape. Uh, but through that journey, going through that process and trying to find what would fit for him, seeing that worth marketing with that journey with him too, with all the different companies and all the different products and so forth and so on, you just knew that he was going to be very successful with this. There was no doubt about it. What I'm trying to teach my six children, my, my 28 grandchildren, four great grandchildren, that it's not over till it's over. And if you stop dreaming, you might as well be buried. Abraham Lincoln once said, we die at 21 and we bury us at 42. I didn't know what that meant at first, but now I realize what he meant. And his, when he was president, the average male lived to be 42. And a young man would get married at 20 or 21, have a few children, and stop dreaming. The day you stop dreaming in this life, it's over. At more than 80 years young, Jimmy the Butcher is not ready to kick back and take it easy just yet. Network marketing is a passion for this retired butcher, and he's got plenty left to contribute. Well, I love being with my family. I love watching a movie in my family room. I love working out in my gym, which I put in my basement. And the things I have are, are not important to me. It's about my dreams. And my wife said to me, Jimmy, why are you building this big house? I said, my dear, it's my dream. It's been a dream for a long time. Why did I buy a 40-foot motorhome? It was a dream, and I just wanted to fulfill my dream. He goes the extra mile, that's the one thing. And that's why he's been successful in raising a family, in um, being very successful in the industry of network marketing. And even when he wasn't successful, he was being successful because he was learning, he was growing, and he was never going to quit. And I don't want to be remembered when I leave this earth for the house I lived in, the car I drove, the clothes I wore. I like to be remembered for the positive impact I have on everybody I meet on my journey to reach my goals. Um, his work ethic, he's impeccable with his word. When he makes a commitment to do something, there's no, you know, a half. It's all or nothing. He's a real all or nothing person. And he loves what, because he loves what he's doing so much, working with people especially, that's the piece. Um, you know what, I don't think he considers it work. It's part of, you know, his, who he is. The people say, Jimmy, when are you going to retire, Jimmy? You're 80 years of age. I said, I'll retire when I expire, not a minute sooner. No matter whatever he did in life, um, he really went the extra mile and really cared about people. The, the great Gandhi said, every man wants to live, every man wants to love, every man wants to learn, and every man wants to leave a legacy. I'm working on the legacy right now. At a time when life seems more complicated than ever before, perhaps there's something that we can learn from a retired butcher and his family. Perhaps there is more to this life than what can be gauged in status or quantified in numbers. Perhaps 
there's something that we can all learn from the legacy of a butcher.